week, everybody. I'm not going to try to do anything too scary because that's not really my thing, so maybe someone else this week will give that a try. This week I thought I would do a movie that was actually remade recently. I'm doing the original. Stepfather came out this past Friday on the 16th, and so because of that, I'm doing this one. It's the original from 1987. I know you may be saying there was an original to this movie, because whenever I'm talking to somebody about uh, the new movie, they're saying, well, I didn't know that there was an original. And it's actually based, kind of, it's sort of based on the life of John List, who killed his mother, his children, and his wife. And so this kind of follows his life. It's based on him. It stars Terry O'Quinn, which a lot of you may know from the TV series Lost. He's been in that for uh, most of the seasons, I believe. I don't watch the show, so I'm not really sure. His character's name is Henry Morrison. The movie starts out, uh, he's in his house, and he's covered in blood. This is the very first scene, so I'm not giving anything away. It starts out, he's covered in blood, he's cleaning himself, he starts changing his appearance. He had a beard, he's shaving it, and it shows him leaving his house. And as he's leaving, in the background, it shows tons of dead bodies. Obviously, his children, wife. It doesn't actually show how many bodies there are or who there is, but it does show one child and then some other bodies in the background. So then it skips to one year later, and he has a new wife, he has a stepdaughter, and he's made a new life for himself. In this new life, he's doing extremely well. He has a new job, he's a real estate agent, and he's doing quite well in this new character that he's made for himself. But as the movie progresses, he starts to slowly change back to how he used to be. He starts to get angry at things, and people start to catch on to it, especially his stepdaughter. She, The movie really focuses on her and her discovering who he really is, but as she discovered who, discovers who she, he is, he also realizes that she's catching on to him and she's learning more about him. This movie is extremely well done in my opinion. I thought the acting was great. There was a few parts where that were a bit cheesy, you know, it's like pretty kind of bad acting, 80s horror movie acting, but aside from that, awesome. I, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 stars. I've unfortunately yet to see the remake. I'd like to have seen it and maybe compare the two films a bit, but I really like this original. I also watched the second one this past weekend, so I watched both the first and second, both starring Terry Quinn. There's a third stepfather, but unfortunately he's not in it because I think he did an awesome job in both movies, but on, uh, there's only so much he can do, so many families that he can go to. So definitely check this movie out if you have the chance to maybe go see it before you see the new one. Uh, that's about it for me this week. Everyone else will be back this week with their uh, horror reviews. And next week is going to be Halloween week, so we're going to... What the heck? The light just went off for some reason. Hold on, let me, set, let me see if I can get a lamp on or something. Hold on. Uh, there it is. There we go. Anyways, like I was saying, it's going to be Halloween week.